What's up guys? Just uh, got done modifying the Shimano BRMT520 brake calipers. These are the four piston calipers. Uh, I got a little over a year ago, maybe two years ago, I guess now, um, once they came out, uh, Mike Moser actually recommended them to me from uh, one of my e-bike buddies out in Philly. And they're the more affordable four piston caliper brakes. Um, but the one thing that they were lacking was that they, that you couldn't dress them up with, uh, with a threaded pin. So, um, I do ride this particular bike. Uh, it's an electric enduro frame, self bomber frame. It's a nice bike, uh, and I do take it to to bike shows, competitions, and wanted to uh, dress it up a little bit. The fin pads that I'm using on here are the HO3C, the metallic pads. Um, but I did want to get rid of the cotter pin that comes with this particular um, caliper. So what I did was get a 964 drill bit and drilled a pilot hole through here. And I got my M4 tap and tapped that hole. I would use a little lube. Um, I used some of the residual brake, the, like the mineral brake fluid that was on there uh, to, to lube both the tap and then the threaded pin once I started putting it in there. But as you can see, you don't have to modify the fins. I've seen before videos where guys were shaving off that part of the part of the fins. You don't have to modify that at all. The only thing you had to do was drill a hole. It, it needed to be slightly larger than what was there before to be able to fit that M4 uh, threaded pin. So I drilled that out, use the tap. Don't go all the way through with the tap. So I probably went about three fourths of the way through. Uh, you want it to be able to stop and, and seat itself. Um, and then once you've done that, then I threaded it through. Again, I used a little, uh, a little of the residual mineral oil from Shimano that was on there. Just some that had, I just uh, took these off so I could, um, to modify them while I was bleeding the brakes and decided to just go ahead and get it done. So I had a little bit of, of mineral oil that was still around there. Use a Q-tip, um, put some on there. Um, so so the, the threads aren't stripping themselves out and they're going through a little little easier. So, But anyways, here is the, the BRMT 520s. Get the Shimano style risk pins, threaded M4 with the clip. You can dress them up. They do do different colors. There are black, there are the oil slick, and then there are gold. My particular bike does use red anodized with gold accents, so uh, this this is perfect for, for my bike, but here's uh, what they look like. I'll try to show you a little close here. Hopefully that's coming up on camera okay for you guys, but got it through fine. It was probably a five five minute or less mod. This is so, so simple. You just got to have the tools. Uh, again, I used a DeWalt 964 drill bit. Get an M4 tap. Get the, the pin, replacing the cotter pin that's threaded. Um, you put it through and I'll show you guys here.
super happy how this came out. There you go. We're gonna just gonna give a little pilot hole on this. So this is a nine sixty fourths bit. It is just big enough for the M four to go through for the threads, and it's just slightly bigger than what the caliper is pre drilled for. So. easy try to knock out all the shavings when i get done with this i'll clean this with some isopropyl alcohol to clean it up and i still need to, to bleed these brakes i did uh, drain out the, the fluid prior to as well that's what actually prompted me to do this i was in the middle of uh bleeding these brakes out anyways and it was like you know what i just need to go ahead and and do this at the same time so it's cleaning up any residual mineral fluid that's, that's coming out of the ports here while i'm working on it all right next you're gonna get your m4 tap here so I just bought these on, on eBay. I bought a set for maybe around 10 bucks. One thing I know uh, that you want to do, and I've got just a, a little dab of mineral fluid here. I figured it's that or uh, use like uh, a candle wax will work um, or uh, some WD-40, but you want to kind of lubricate the tap so it, so it goes through. So I'm using some of this mineral oil here, just gonna put a little dab on the end of that. Get this started. And feel it cut a little bit, then back out. In your shavings. That Q tip does a good job of grabbing up all the shavings there. Just kind of go slow and steady. And back it out. You feel it starting to get tight. Back it out. Again, just I'm going to keep going back and cleaning up the shavings as I go here. One more little pass through and then we'll test that, that pin to see if it works. I don't know about the rest of you guys, I just got tired of seeing the cotter pin and in the particular bike that I'm working on, I do enter it in, in uh, bike shows, competitions, and it's a it's a nice bike, it's, an, it's an icy bike, it's one of those Stealth Bomber electric enduro frame bikes. And, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to dress it up a little bit. And I haven't seen anybody else do this yet. And it's a fairly simple process, as long as you got the tools.
in, just back it out. I don't want to go all the way through. You want the, the pen to, to have a place to stop. Sorry, I'm probably getting that off camera. I'm just going through and cleaning up some of the shavings there. That cutter pin works good to kind of pull them through. Give it a good, get a good blow there. All right. Now we'll test this. Just threading it through here. It's tight, so I'm going to back it out. Down a little. A little bit of brake fluid on that pin. Have to lubricate that to go through. Looks like it's going to work, guys. There's enough of it through there to attach the pin. Voila. It's on. So there we go. The Shimano. BRMT520, thread it with an M4 tap, we've got here, drill it with a 964 drill bit first, pre-pilot the hole, make sure you use some, some, I would use some, some brake fluid on there to, that mineral oil to, to, lube your tap and then the threads on the on the post that you're putting through but it's on it's done got it here's a little extra bonus footage for those of you guys who want to see the ho3c pads being installed into the mt520 for piston caliper brakes here so m3 the metric size three Allen wrench will fit inside this. It's an M4 pin that fits in there. I bought these from uh, on eBay. These are Risk brand. Shimano um, caliper pins. So I'll show you guys what it looks like to install these. So the points will be facing down on the caliper here. It's going just fine. And now before, you always had to use the cotter pin. But since I did drill these out, now I can place in the threaded post here. So it's an M4. Uh, you're going to use the the M3. It's a metric Allen wrench. It's 
through. Then I'm going to take the pen that holds it into place so it doesn't back out. Slot that on, and that's done. I've got the calipers now modified to be able to fit the threaded pin to hold those uh, pads in place. Now it's just like a Dior. There we go.